Hello, I'd like to provide a video abstract of an epidemiological investigation did by Jiangsu Provincial for Disease Control and Prevention. The topic of this study is probable person-to-person -person transmission of novel avian influenza A H7N9 virus in eastern China, 2013. First, I will briefly introduce the background. The novel avian influenza H7N9 virus has caused great morbidity and mortality since its emergence in China, February 2013. And animal experiments indicate that the novel virus can transmit through droplets under certain conditions. However, there is no definite evidence showing that the novel virus can transmit person to person yet. The objectives of this paper are 1. Whether the novel avian influenza H7N9 virus, or called NAIV, possesses the capability to transmit person to person. And 2. How is the efficiency of the no novel virus? And we had two H7N9 patients in Wuxi, Jiangsu province, in late March 2013. And all 43 close contacts of them. And also, the related live poultry markets and households and surroundings are available. The epidemiological investigations include interviewing the doctors and nurses who provided medical services for and family members of the two patients, and conducting environmental investigations of the poultry market and the living residential district, and also performing laboratory tests for those specimens. Here are the two pictures of the decorative pool in the residential district. We can see there are two swans in the lake. And this is the picture of the live poultry in the market. And also the frozen poultry meat sold in the convenience store. We did the specimen collection as soon as possible, and also the environmental sampling. Here comes the results part. First, let's discuss the two patients. The index patient became ill 5 to 6 days after his last exposure to poultry. And the second patient, who was the daughter of the index case, had no recognized exposure to poultry, but directly contacted with the oral secretions of her father. And she developed symptoms 6 days after her last contact with her father. Both cases were confirmed to be infected with the NAIV and two separate strains were isolated from the two patient specimens, and the strains were almost genetically identical. And 43 close contacts of the patients were identified, but only one, the second case's husband, had mild illness, but he was negative for NAIV, and all close contacts were tested negative for NAIV-specific hemagglutination inhibition antibodies. And here is the time flow of the exposure and infection. The index case became ill on March 8th and was admitted to hospital three days later. Here. The doctor first provided conventional care at home and then visited in hospital without PPE. Later, she provided bedside care with, without PPE from March 14th until her father was transferred to ICU. The daughter became ill on March 21st. The period of most likely to be exposed for the daughter was from March 13 to March 15. So, in conclusion, the infection of the daughter is likely to be resulted from the inf index patient during unprotected exposure. And we suggest that the NAIV possesses the ability to transmit person to person in this cluster. However, the infectivity was limited and non-sustainable uh, as there is no common outbreak following the two cases. Still, we have some bias, confounding, and other reasons for caution. The possibility that the daughter acquired her infection from the environment or other sources could not be completely ruled out. Subclinical or asymptomatic infections could not be completely excluded among close contacts. And last, the two isolated strands were not completely identical. At last, I want to say thank you to all these institutions and who provided the fundings.